Hey everyone, um, welcome back to another Fun Fact Friday live here at University Animal Clinic. I'm Dr. Sam. And so if you've been in our office recently, you know that we um, have some pregnant employees. And so we've been talking a lot about how to introduce your new baby to your pets at home, in particular your dogs. And so I thought I'd give you guys a few tips and tricks. So in advance of um, giving birth and having the baby, a couple things you can do. One is play some YouTube videos or sound in the background of, of babies, crying, screaming, all of those noises. Get your dog used to those sounds so that it's not frightening to them when the new baby comes home. Make gradual changes in your pet's routine. This can be huge so that they don't just associate something different, something new with baby and that that's bad. So start changing maybe when you feed them, maybe where you put their bed to sleep at night, um, when you take them for a walk, switch up those times a little bit um, in the months uh, go leading up to um, having the baby. That way they'll kind of be like, okay, things are kind of in flux a little bit and they're not just so surprised all of a sudden when everything changes. Uh, get them acclimated to smells. As we know, dogs are really sensitive to changes in smell. Um, so get them used to baby powder and the smell of that, baby's lotion, all of those different smells um, that you can get used to before you even have the baby. And then once you have the baby, bringing home a blanket in advance, uh, maybe dad can bring that home while mom's still in the hospital with the baby scent on it. This kind of, again, just gets them used to what that is gonna smell like. The other thing that you can start teaching them is a command called place or go to place. You can do this to a rug, a mat, or, or a spot. Usually you do it to an object which helps because that object can be moved around, this rug or mat. And so if you start place training them to that location, this helps in that when you say go to place, say you need to change the baby or go in and do something in the nursery and you say go to place and that mat is in the corner in the hallway, something like that, that's where that pet should go. Um, so this could be really helpful. Also with new people coming over and we get excited, that's how I use place at home um, to make sure that our dog goes to that location. And then once we get home, first I would greet your dog alone without the baby. That way if they decide to get excited, jump up and down, those kinds of things, there's no risk of injury. Allow them to adjust to the smells and sounds of the baby without the baby being around. Um, so, you know, in while you're in the other room, they will start to get used to the smells of, of the baby and of um, lotions, formula, all of those things that have a scent for them um, so that they can start to get used to those before you introduce them. And then um, once you start to introduce them, you want to make sure um, that we go slow. You know, this is going to take some time. It might not be an overnight change, or maybe it will every pet's different and kind of reading your pet and, and going at their pace is going to be very helpful. Um, give the dog plenty of attention even when the baby um, is around because most of the time we think we put the we, you know babies down for a nap that's when I'll give my dog attention but then they start to think oh only good things happen when that baby's not around and when that baby's around I don't get any attention. So trying to give your dog as much attention as possible um, while the baby's around will help them to realize that only good things only don't happen when that baby's not here and that will help them to feel a little bit more secure and then be careful about scolding them for certain things especially picking up the baby's toys because again they're going to get that scent and then they're getting scolded and so they're going to associate those two things together as you know this scent this baby bad things um, so definitely take it away from them we don't want them chewing on the baby's toys but then give them what they're supposed to chew on give them their dog toy or their dog treat so that that way they're not um, being reprimanded for something that we want them to get used to. We want them to get used to these new things that are going to be around and we don't want to associate the baby with anything negative. So I hope these are just some tips and tricks for you for you guys to use at home. Those of you that are um, about to bring home a baby or um, you can use these even for introducing a new person to your um, home. Um, if somebody's gonna be coming and staying with you in advance and you know your dog can be a little wary around new people, these, these same tips and techniques can be helpful. Sounds and scents can make a big difference for our pets. If you have ideas for the next Fun Fact Friday, as always, leave it in the comments below. I want to talk about what you guys want to hear about. And give this video a like and a share. Share it with your pregnant friends out there that are going to have um, new introductions to their family and have pets at home and may need help on how to introduce them to each other. And I'll see you guys next week.